Hey Vlogmas! Day six for us and seven for you. So we're gonna do Dad's calendar again. I'll give enough asking him to do it. <laughs> it's easier. If I keep pestering, it won't happen. Uh, right. Lots of you guys have been asking about this calendar. It is German. I got it from, I found the company about three years ago now? Three or four years ago, yeah. Amazon. The first one Dad got was... Spices. Mm, spices. And they accidentally sent us a tea one as well. That's it. And no. they sent us the tea one first and then sent us the spices one as uh, for free, which was what I'd ordered and told us to keep the tea one. Then you had licorice last year. Yes. And then you've got crunchy, nutty, chocolatey goodness this year. I have. So, yes. They're, I'll, one, I'll, they're good. I'll link them down below, but I just found them on Amazon. I was looking for like a calendar that yeah. was interesting. They're not cheap, but they're definitely no. worth it. What day am I Six. Only? Six. Oh. Yeah, it's an easy one. Yeah, I can it's see. It's on the blue. <laughs> they're almonds. Yeah, sugar coated, delightful. I love them. <laughs> He's a happy boy. I'm doing well with this one, aren't I? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the licorice one was, was a success as well, but I'm glad yeah. we did go through a different one this year because he did say, yeah, just licorice. Fine. The licorice one, I still had licorice from that in May, June. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Don't think there's going to be any of these left. No, no. By the end of the week, let alone into the next year. Very Moorish. You've got mm. to try and say the Canadian state again. Saskatoon in Saskatchewan. Ah, oh, he's practiced. With, Lauren, a, with Lauren a mouthful of nuts. <laughs> Norin will be happy. Yeah, don't talk with your mouthful. <laughs> My mother always said that to me. Yeah, he told me off for that the other day. Uh, okay, uh -huh. thank you. Lovely. And Mum and I have agreed to swap chocolates today, which is very nice of her. So I shall open my calendar first. And oh look, it's a baby's ruffle. <laughs> Shocking. I thought she deserved a change. <laughs> They're very nice, I'm not complaining. No, it's just a bit dull. Yes. Right, so you're looking for number six. Number six. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Yay. That's only nine, isn't it? Oh, nine. Okay. <laughs> No number six. No, no number six. Nothing for you today. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so there's a chocolate in there. I can't. I, I, I genuinely can't remember what I wrapped up when. Oh, it's an orange chocolate. As well. Oh, here we go. So I give Sean my chocolate, and then this will tell you what you're making. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. So it's an English paper piece fussy cut cushion from Lisa Chandler. And it's going to be beautiful. It's called the Paper Doily Club. And that's the other colourway, or one of the other colourways that she does for, for this one. But I got mum this colourway because I thought it would go with your front room. It'll match my knitting bag as well. It will match your knitting bag. <laughs> Oh, so, that's um, lovely, isn't it? That's why you got so much fabric, because you got to fussy cut it all out. Right. So, yeah, Ooh. that gets turned into that. Wow, that looks like fun. Good. And so, oh, yeah, I got the chocolate, chocolate orange, <laughs> and mum gets the baby's truffle. Let's see what you think of them, if you can get in there. Everyone very much enjoys how you enjoy your chocolate. Mm -hmm. See, they're good, aren't they? I mean, I'm not complaining. Mm. I'm quite happy to do little swaps with you throughout the, uh, just so there's something different, mm. but good, aren't they? Very nice. And it's almost a salty, caramelly mm. baying. <coughs> <laughs> Very nice, thank you. <laughs> Dad? Yeah? Mum's found out what her present will eventually be. Oh, right. It's a cushion. Yeah. Can it be made into a puff top? I suppose. Well, I'm just thinking of something oh, you would idea. actually use. It's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Can I turn the dryer back on now? Not quite yet. Mm. Okay. Sorry. Interrupting it, the daily chores. Yeah, I know, I'm terrible. Well, you guys you guys watched the video the other day when the washing machine was on and you were crinkling paper in the background. So noisy. It's called sound effects. Yes. So I am live streaming this afternoon. There is a vlog coming up at six o'clock this, this evening as well, which is something I usually put Saturday's vlog up on Monday. 
but because it's vlogmas i'm going to attempt to vlog today as well because we've got this hopefully i should get quite far with the coat today during the live stream even with all the top stitching that i want to do then i shall chat to you this evening and uh, let you know what i've done so yeah it's going to be a busy day okay i am all set up for the live stream and i'm quite early actually so i think i'm just going to carry on sewing and go live at midday one eternity later so we have been sewing for four hours and 50 minutes and i was pretty much sewing from the start this time around wasn't i and as you can see in the background there there is some more completion of coat which i will show you in a minute but i've asked the lovely peeps to say merry vlogmas to you all and they are all complying which is lovely all the lovely emojis as well so yeah it's been a really fun afternoon it's dark as you can see completely pitch black outside so i am going to go and sew so i'm not i'm gonna go and cook i have been sewing i'm going to cook and i'm going to make what am i making a chorizo and sweet corn pasta this evening for me and dad and mum's having leftover cold can and pie so yay but anyway i'm going to say goodbye to these guys properly okay so i'm progressing along nicely with the coat i got the entire bodice sewn during the hangout today and i'm really pleased with how the storm flaps come out i've currently got it on the mannequin and i've steamed the roll lines of the collar and pinned them in place and they're just going to be setting overnight this is the facing that i did the other day and i've got the rust colored flat piping or bias binding on for flat piping pleased with this very happy with all this that I've got done today although I'm glad that I called it a day when I did because I think if I tried to do sleeves I would have fluffed them up totally so I shall start on that tomorrow hello we're in hello. the kitchen we're gonna make dinner no, we we're not making dinner we're creating because I'm... we're creative okay yeah I'm, I'm creating dinner I think mum's I'm gonna assisting have, yeah mum's gonna have leftovers because she doesn't no, I'm not assisting I'm enabling yes yes <laughs> um, she doesn't like the uh, the dish that we're having so i think she wants to have the leftovers from yesterday which is totally fine yeah clutch pies always taste better the second time around it's not clutch pie no cold cool cannon pie cold cool cannon pie yeah. yeah but it's gorgeous gorgeous yeah gorgeous. so tonight we are making speedy creamy chorizo and sweet corn pasta yum yum yes please <laughs> Not the most elegant plating, but it's going to taste yummy. I don't think I've shown you my calendar girl changing her outfit for a while now. So this was November's offering, which is beautiful. And December, just as gorgeous. Now I've already ordered the replacement dress set for next year's but if you guys are after a calendar girl of your own Brittany has just released all the dates that they're going to be going up on etsy so i'll link that in the description down below for you and good luck if you are after one i have come home and immediately been sat upon i am not mad she left she decided that she'd rather sit on the back of the sofa I am sad. <laughs> it was very nice having a little hot water bottle for a while dinner was very yummy very very yummy I made enough for four people because I cooked all of the pasta that they sent rather than the amount that they recommend for their dish for three people. So dad and I will be having that for lunch tomorrow, I'm sure. But it was very, very yummy. Very yummy. It was good. I think we're going to have the chicken curry tomorrow. And then dad's box arrives tomorrow as well. And then I have another box arriving on Tuesday. So we won't starve. It'll be fine. Again, I, I think I'm on my 22nd box from HelloFresh and absolutely loving it really 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 loving it really enjoying all trying all the different things as well i'm very excited about the venison burgers on wednesday it's gonna be good i have not filmed very much today as you guys have noticed but it was as i say a live stream day and usually i don't film at all on those days so I'm, I'm impressed with myself that i managed to get anything filmed as i said i'm really pleased with the progress i've made on the coat i'm hoping i can get the sleeves and skirt on tomorrow although i do have an appointment at one o'clock to get my eyelashes done which i'm so excited about so i'm not sure how that's going to go i need to get some boots rehealed as well so i'm going to go into town a little bit earlier and go into sainsbury's and get the boots rehealed at the cobblers or the timpsons that are in, in that is in sainsbury's i also need to drop off my green velvet coat to the post office so they can send it to the dry cleaners for me i need to double check that they ask the dry cleaners is open 
open because the dry cleaners has been closed for the entirety of lockdown so my green velvet coat hasn't been yet but i'm hoping i can take it tomorrow and it will not take too long to get that one back then then i'll have hopefully by the end of this week i'll have another coat done as well i'm not sure i'm going to send this this one to be pressed because it's a cotton twill and it's pressing really nicely with my iron that I have here so I'm not sure it's going to need to be professionally pressed because it's not a thick coating fabric like the velvet and the kind of rainbow one I really I still don't know what that rainbow fabric is made out of I'm, I, I'm pretty sure it's polyester but it is pretty yeah I probably won't need to send the trench coat out to be professionally pressed but I think it's going to make a big difference to the other two and I'm going to try and get some clips some close-ups of what the edges look like pre-pressing and after pressing to see if it is worth it so yes that's basically that's been my day so i hope you've enjoyed the little bit that i have filmed and i will see you all tomorrow bye